That's correct, Ian, and today we learned the reason the judge ordered Yazid to submit that DNA sample is because the Alabama Department of Forensic Science determined male DNA was found in Blanchard's car, and the state wants to compare his DNA with the one found inside the car. The judge also denied a motion to consider Yazid's bond and found probable cause to send the, this case to the grand jury. Now, to get into some of those new details talked about in court this morning. First off, when Yazid walked into the courtroom, he looked at Blanchard's family and simply shook his head. Investigators with the Auburn Police Department say Yazid walked into the Auburn convenience store where Blanchard was last seen first and spotted her from inside. Then they say a witness saw Yazid forcefully put Blanchard into her SUV and drive off with her inside. When, when that witness was later questioned, police say he broke down in tears because he felt remorseful for not speaking up sooner. Last week, Yazid's attorney filed a motion for his client to be granted bond, but the district attorney argued that should not happen. Mr. Yazid has, by my count, 26 prior arrests, several A felonies. Um, but even after all that, he was on bond when this occurred. He left uh, Alabama while he was under bond, which is a violation of his bond condition from Montgomery. He fled to Florida, got new charges, attempting to elude. The judge denied the motion and Yazid will remain in jail. A gag order is in place on this case and the judge says they will consider lifting that case on the hearing on December the 4th.